Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another very silly design. Now this thing that I'm currently standing on, if you have not seen it already on the Steam Workshop page, is called the Gun Class Gunship, which is well, a giant bloody rifle. And right next to it is the Gunship, which has been on my subscription list for quite some time now, but I thought I might as well throw it in here as well, means they're both going off the same style. So yes, they are both just modelled after a gun, they both have a single functionality, where the rifle in front of you has an artillery gun, right at the very front, below the main barrel, and then for the pistol in the background, it's got a rocket launcher to blast your enemies with. So what we're going to do is have a look through the F10 menu, then we're going to go around the outside of both of these, have a look at the interior of the rifle, then we're going to drive around for a bit, see what they can do, and I think that'll be that. So for the gun class gunship, this thing uses 601 large blocks, using the deck of block number 3, deck of block number 2, Heavy Industry, Warfare 1, Frostbite, and Sparks of the Future DLC packs. It uses no mods, it uses no scripts, but well, when I say it uses no mods, it does have an optional plugin that allows you to use the camera on an LCD screen, so whatever the camera is looking at will be displayed on the screen, but it is incredibly performance heavy, and well, that's up to you if you want to use it. It's not available on the Steam Workshop, you have to get it from elsewhere, but a quick Google will solve that. And yes, for the other ship, if we go get rid of the gunship, there we are, there it is, the gunship in quotations. This thing is 496 small blocks, where we have a cockpit, in only fly in space, and is armed with a rocket launcher. So giving me this thing a thumbs up, I believe I've got to give this one a thumbs up, so there we are as well. We'll just move around over to this part, and here we are for the outside of the gun class gunship. So right at the very front, what we've got is an unfinished piston head, just to cover up the end of our barrel. Above that is what I believe to be the iron sights to help aim this thing around if you're not going to be using the scope on top. Then moving down slightly, we can't really see too much other than the underneath of the barrel. So moving along on the side here, this is a much better look. We've got some curved conveyors that go all the way along, we've got sorter in the middle, where above that is our iron sight, that then comes all the way across over to this part, where below the barrel, this is our gun to actually fire, which is an artillery gun, so I suppose if you play very carefully in spar mode, you could use this to snipe enemies, say disable all their turrets that you can visually see, before driving up to it, and then having a look around on foot. Anyway, behind that we then got the start of some very lovely brown wooden skin blocks to make up the rest of this vehicle. Below here, putting my light on, we then got our hydrogen tanks, which are very much needed because we do have hydrogen thrusters on this to drive it around, which we'll see in just a moment if we get towards the back of this vehicle. And all the way across, one hell of a lot of our wooden skin, till eventually we get towards the main body where I'm standing, where this is our small interior. So there's the door on the side, there's our windows here inside, and there is our control seat, where in front of it is our LCD screen, which would be displaying what the camera is seeing if I had the plug-in active. Anyway, putting away for there and up and above, we've got some more hydrogen tanks, but then got our reactors to give it a bit of power. And then cross over to this section, here's the start of our hydrogen thrusters to move us around in all directions. And then above, we then got sort of like a holographic scope. I believe it is meant to be a traditional scope, but looks more like something you'd do in Payday 2, just slap on a bunch of high-tech stuff onto a very old-timey gun. But yes, we'll come around to that when we look around on top. Down to there is your trigger where what you're going to do with your finger, say you're a giant or a giant mech, is that you're going to put your finger on a hydrogen thruster to make the gun fire. There we are, put my light on looking up into here. Fantastic use of our beam blocks, making sure no blocks get damaged when we move backwards. Turning off my light, moving around towards the very bang of this thing. Here we go, so there's the butt of our gun. Once again, in our lovely wooden skin. Around towards the very bang there, and we've got some more hydrogen thrusters to boost us forwards. Then moving all the way up and down. Couple more hydrogen thrusters to move us down. Here is the top of our scope. We've got some lovely use of our window blocks, just going all the way along. We've got a laser antenna on the left hand side, so rather than having our doorway to get inside, we now have a laser sight. And all the way across the top here. There we are for our hydrogen tank and the front. Moving all the way around, looking down. So here we are. This is why I think it's more of a holographic side. Do you think we've got this window on the front of it? Putting the camera all the way through. There we are. There's our proper camera to actually see what's going on. And this is the view we're going to be getting. Anyway, coming out of this, moving around onto the side of this side. There you come all the way down. There's our laser antenna. There's another hydrogen thruster. And like I said, there's no doorway to get inside on this side. And all the way across. There we are. And of course, moving all the way down underneath this thing. Here we go, almost done with this. So yes, there's the pipe works. There's a sorter. There's the bottom of our guns. There's some more tanks. All the way along here, some armored panels to cover out all of our internals. And going towards the main body. There we are with another hydrogen thruster. 
Now we have to come across to the other smaller ship, so this one, the gunship, which is basically a glorified magnum, means it shoots rockets out the front. This one is ion thruster powered, so we can only fly this in space. There's our ion thrusters at the back. Looking at on the side there. Some fantastic block work for our barrel, where right behind that is our standard cockpit to drive it around. Put the my light on, there is our trigger to pull to well make the rocket fly out the front. Round the force in front of this thing, there's our rocket launcher. Onto the opposite side. There we go. Looking all the way down. There we are with that. And now we come underneath it. And there we are with that. Poking the camera all the way through. So there we are, we can see a bunch of reactors, give it a bit of power. All the way up to there, there's your gyroscopes. There's some more hydrogen thrusters. And of course, all the way up here, if I can actually get the camera in the right place, there's the back of our cockpit to get inside. So yes, with that, what I'm going to do now is grab hold my character, and we're going to go inside the rifle. So dropping down onto the side, opening up the door, and now here we are. It's a very cosy interior. I do love this colour of the wood. It's an absolute perfect colouring for, say, a cosy cottage instead of a gun. Yes, looking up to there, there's our hydrogen tanks. Behind us is our cargo axis, so we can drop stuff in and out if we need to. Let's just walking along here. There's our windows appear outside. <laughs> the lovely gun sitting right next to me. And yes, there will be a link to Skybox I'm currently using in the description below. It's a lovely one with a bunch of purples and blues. And it's quite dark when you're on the planet at night. But yes, there's our LCD screen that we'll be displaying while our camera is seeing. So hopping into the cockpit, first person view, we're not going to be able to see too much until we bring out the HUD and press number two. Here's that camera that sits in our sight of the gun. Zooming all the way forwards, that's a little aiming reticle or the iron sights for our neon tubes. Here we go, press number one, hide all the HUD and fire. There we are, we just fire our artillery gun. That should deal a nice bit of damage to whatever we hit. The ring three camera all the way over and looking at like so, firing it one more time. And there we are. It's a rather satisfying sound it makes when it fires in the distance. It does look glorious, although it does seem a bit odd where the gun is shooting below the main barrel. Anyway, with that, that's all the controls for the gun. So what I'm going to do now is just pull out this, come all the way around, open up the doorway, and then we're going to come over to the gunship, which I won't be flying around, but I will just go and fire it very quickly. So behind the barrel, we now access that cockpit. Coming inside, we've only got one control for our rocket launcher. So firing it like so. Yes, we just fire it as a standard rocket launcher. We will need to manually reload it if you do have this in survival mode. But why would you use this in survival mode, I do not know. But it's there if you want to play around with it. We just twirl this around. It's a very sensitive with moving, so you can very easily aim this at whatever's trying to attack you. Anyway, hopping out of this, coming back over to the rifle, because that is the main point of this video. And now getting back inside and getting back into the cockpit. Just closing the door behind me, coming all the way over to the cockpit. In we get, into third person view, moving it forwards. Here we go, in fact, I need to have the HUD turn on. There we are. And as you expect from a ship that has so few thrusters, this thing is not the fastest thing in the world. Now, it might be going a bit faster than it feels for me, at least, because the Skybox does have an increased speed limit of about 160 meters per second. Since we are now charging above 120, we have to let go of the mouse and let it come to a stop naturally, it's even more slower. So there we are. And we do have plenty of gyroscope controls to actually do a 180. We do need to make this stop a bit quicker. Yes, it's not going to be too fast anyway, so you will have to play it careful when driving this thing around at high speeds. For our left and right, we've only got one thruster, so there's no point in trying that out. Moving down, we've got two. Moving up, we've got two. So it's going to be the same as moving forwards. So all that's left to do is to maybe try and find some space powers and test out the gun at shooting from a long range. And here we go. What I've done is found a very neat space power setup. We're using the camera and zooming all the way into it. That is a wreckage currently being salvaged by the space pirates. But we've got a little ship that you might be able to make out where the red is sitting, which is already set up. Got grinders, got welders, and it's well ready to be either stolen by you or it's going to be utilised by the space pirates and have finished grinding up that ship. So what I'm going to do now, being theoretical, is lined straight up onto the small ship, and we're going to fire the artillery gun straight into it. So here we go. And there we are, the whole ship moves backwards, and, get the camera, it looks like I missed it completely. So, reloading the camera, and actually firing it one more time, here we go. Yes, that is a direct hit, there we are. We saw two little bits get deflected off, and that should be absolutely annihilated on that small little ship. Bring the free camera all the way over, and actually taking a look at the destruction cause. And there we are, there's a the small little ship. It looks like a completely nailed welder. So now it can't weld up the ship, it can only grind it up. So as soon as that is a win at the end of the day. Yes, one final, final thing to do with the ship is of course to crash it straight into here. So there's not too much else to talk about, because it's just a silly ship to play around with. So here we go, making sure this is all lined up, straight onto that small little ship. I'm going to very, very slowly make our way all the way up to it. We should get a nice big crash because we should go above 100 meters per second. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not too sure. 
yes we will. I'm thinking about 130 beats per second, but coming out of the camera and hiding all the HUD. Here we go in about three, two, one, straight into that. There we go. Wow, that works as an amazing ramming spike, hopping out of the seat, walls remaining on the poor little gunship. And, well, surprisingly, quite a lot. We lost a barrel at the end, we lost our gun, but most of the ship is still one piece. Other than that, that's it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Should be a fun little ship to play around with if you do want to play with an oversized gun in your world. Like I said earlier, it's not really intended for anything survivally or anything serious, it's just a bit of fun to play around with. So be linked to its good ship below if you wish to play and play around yourself. Highly recommend you do, as well as the link to the little gunship pistol, and of course the skybox. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye-bye.